Hello, everybody, and welcome back to all new movie news. Bear McDonald. Uh, today we have a brand new Percy Jackson update, and um, I'm so excited, guys, to uh, be able to share this video because literally I have some issues with it, and I know as fans, you guys are gonna have issues with it, so don't get mad. We'll still have a great show, most likely. It's just weird that they changed their plan on this so um i guess it didn't work out or anything so uh let's get into the article it surprised me last night when i was reading it i usually do videos at night but literally i just couldn't do it i was really tired so i decided to wait until this morning and on uh let's see what t is today's date Monday, April 4th, so, yeah. Um, anyways, just in case I don't, you're watching this after. But, uh, let's get into the article. Okay, guys, so here we are with the article. Uh, just let you know, guys, on the next Percy Jackson update, it won't just be me. I gotta talk to my sister, Chyna, about it. But she will be a guest star on the show, so... Um, hopefully we can make it a regular thing, but we'll see. Okay, so, um, let's get into the article, guys. Um, greetings from Last Trigonia. You guys would know those, um, characters from the Sea of Monsters. So, yeah. And also the Sun and Neptune, you guys would know. Of two. But yeah. Let's get into this. There's a joke in the Sea Monsters about how to translate Last Trigonians, the cannibalistic giants from the far north, into English. When Percy asks Annabeth, thanks for a minute, then depan pa deadpans Canadians. The joke of course, is that nothing could be further from Las Trigonians than Candy Canadians, who are lovely people and who, as far as I know, never practice cannibalism. It, at any rate, Becky and I have spent the past week in Northwest Las Trigonia, otherwise known as Vancouver. Setting up an apartment and office for the use this summer when we will be here pretty much full time filming. Percy Jackson Olympian Season 1. We arrived in Vancouver on the. Um, where was I? On our first day at the studios in Burbay, Canada. We took the metro and walked from there, though most of the studio staff apparently use something called cars to commute. Once at the studio, we had with the props and costume departments to get a show and tell about what were they're working on. So many things to think about that we would never have occurred to me. What kind of backpack does Percy use? What kind of shirts would he wear? What kind of sheath does Annabeth use on her dagger? If, is Grover a car, cargo shorts t kind of guy? And all, import, all the important question. What pattern does Chiron prefer... And his sweater vest. We looked at various mock-ups for camp armor and weapons. Different shades of orange for the Camp Half-Blood t-shirts. And how each would appear on camera. And even a mood board of various types of blue candy. We also saw some early replicas for Riptide and got to play around with them. The blades were sharp, and somehow I managed not to hurt myself or anyone else. All this, by the way, saying 
Everything is looking great, and I'm very happy with how the project is coming together. I think we will be too. On Friday, we had a studio conference with the higher-ups at Disney to show concept art, the monsters, the world environments, etc. They were uh, very, they, they were very pleased. It's a pretty spectacular stuff. Of course, we will keep tweaking and making things even better. But this world is going to come to life in an amazing way. After that, we got the chance to see Yuja Wang at the Orpheum Theater. An amazing piano recital in a beautiful space, even if we were nosebled in the nosebleed station. Casting, yes, I know what you want to hear about. I think we are very close to having our primary trio of Percy Grover and Ameth, but I can't announce anything until we have the necessary approvals, deals are close, etc. However long you think this process should take, it takes even longer than that. Be patient. Please don't pester Ashley or Becky on social media. Ashley doesn't know any more than you do, and Becky can't say anything more than I can. As soon as we can, we will, but asking for news more information often will not make the news magically appear more quicker. Just a guess, I would say at we are at least a couple more weeks away from being able to announce everything. And when we do announce the three main leads, we will probably announce them all at once. But is the, that is just my personal guess. At the, time, the same time, we have begun the process of looking for our other actors. You know the ones, Sally, Mr. D, Chiron, Luke, Clarice, Gabe, Miss Dodds, etc.? This is hardly a spoiler. It's basically all the characters from the mo novel of the Lightning Thief. The search is in its early stages. We sent out sides, scripts, sections to read to the agencies for candidates to consider, but I haven't even I I haven't seen any casting type tapes yet. Nor is there any sort of definitive list of possibilities. Just ideas at this point, but we exactly, we are very excited idea, ideas. Script work is also coming along quite nicely. We have scripts for the first four episodes pretty much done, and we are hard at work on the remaining four in season one. The writer's room continues, and, um, but now I have much more impressive backdrop for our Zoom meetings. Here we are. Here are some views from our new abode, Rarden Northwest. I know we are pretty lucky. In other news, the right deal for Daughter of the Deep has finally, finally closed, which means and. Okay. All right. Let's. My revision work also continues space for Nico and Will book with Mark Orcio, which is on track for a 2023 prioritization date as planned. <coughs> I'm a busy guy, but all these projects are super fun and exciting. In a few days, Becky and I get to head home to Boston to see our sons, our pup, and maybe even some more Red Sox game baseball. I can't wait and hope everybody's everyone's April is off to a good start more soon. So I have to send out my audition there. So yeah guys, I'm really, really excited for this TV show. I can't say how much I am. 
Uh, I tried casting. It didn't work. They don't accept emails for the show. So I don't know if I'll get in. It sucks. Uh, but, yeah. Um, I have a film coming up this summer. And we'll start shooting this summer. It's called Big Bubba's House. And it's a comedy about a dog. So it's going to be fun. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the future. Uh, just to let you guys know, please subscribe. Um, also, hit that button beside the subscribe button. Click on you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Also, if you want to talk Percy Jackson in the comments, go right ahead. We can geek out over Percy Jackson. I'm fine with that. Also, uh, how, uh, also please leave a like. It helps the algorithm be able to detect my channel to other people and refer recommend me to other people. So, that'd be nice. Also, um, please, um, what was it? Uh, share this video to as many people to get them on board with the channel. Guys, we're on the road to 200 subscribers. So, it'd be really nice if you could get some more friends who love Percy Jackson to come here. Because we will have updates constantly. Constantly. So, yeah, guys. Uh, this is Brian McDonald signing out. I'll see you out there, movie lovers.